What's going on guys? White Horse here going to be giving you guys a deck profile today of Mr. Josh Davis's shark deck. He has been playing this deck for a little while and he's been cooking everybody here at Locals with it. It's okay, yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we start the profile? Yeah, or? shout out the collection, our team. Uh, shout out the Hobby Hub, our local game store and sponsor as well. And uh, shout out all my friends, my wife and son. You know, they let me come play this game with my friends. So, other than that, yeah. All right, go ahead. All right, so I'm playing uh, sharks. Uh, I affectionately call them bozo sharks. Is, uh, this card, well, the first card, Buzzsaw Shark. I like to call him Bozo Shark. He calls us. He calls uh, it Bozo Shark. <laughs> he's just like sometimes you, this card gets like hand trapped. You just feel like, oh, he's just a big old Bozo. Anyway, so this is uh, your main normal summon of the deck and starter. Uh, when he's summoned, you can target a fish monster on the field. He doesn't have to target himself. You can target any other uh, fish monster and a special or water monster thing. And one of the two, but it doesn't matter. Usually, you normal summon him target himself, and then uh, you can special summon a fish monster from your deck in defense position. And or I, I, I think it's usually something different, but it's effectively game that you can only XYZ summon. So this locks in XYZ summon, but this is your main starter of the deck. And then uh, this is basically three more bozo sharks. Uh, this is when it's normal special, you can banish it to summon this basically. And one for ones, this is basically another copy of it. And then for the last starter is uh, the new one surfacing big jaws. Uh, so he's also he's in a starter and extender. Uh, so when he's normal special summon, you can add a fish monster from your deck to your hand, and he can special summon himself um, if a spell card's been activated this turn. So we play like cards like one for one and some other stuff. I'll show you. Uh, so he's both a, a starter and extender, and he also locks you to XYZ summons. But he's a nice he's a nice new card that makes the deck really tick more instead of just having a uh, bus all shark as your only starter. And then this card can sort of be a starter. Uh, this is more of like an extender for when your uh, cards get hand trapped. So like, you can special summon this card if you control a water monster. Uh, and then you can search a fish. And, uh, he can be used as a level 3, 4, or 5 for like if you summon a number monster. But this one locks you into the water monsters. Uh, but this one's really good. And this is kind of like the other normal summon of the deck. Uh, he is on summon, foolish burial fish, and uh, he also has a Dagusta Emerald Fifth Rocket Shuffle, three fish in the deck, and draw a card. Oh, that's really good. And then these are like the last extenders. Uh, this is like uh, the poplar of the deck, like Snake Eyes Poplar, once added from deck to hand, so I draw any special summon, and that's pretty much the only relevant effect. This is also just a special summon effect. It's other, it's other effects are kind of irrelevant. And this card is a really good extending plays. Uh, so he can special summon himself by uh, detaching two materials from uh, any of your XYZ monsters. And when he special summon, you can target two fish monsters in your graveyard and special summon them. And this effect is like not even hard once per turn, so but it just lets you extend more. And it's usually the one you summon off of uh, Big Jaws, or not Big Jaws, uh, uh, Buzzsaw Shark. And then you play these cards for the part of the engine. Uh, this makes it to where your monsters can't be destroyed by battle, and it's got sort of like the uh, Draco back effect where it's sent to the graveyard during the end phase, you can attach one of your monsters. This lets you uh, XYZ, and this is like Icarus attack for the deck. But these are like, you have to play these cards because you search them in the combo. So they're, they're the bricks of the deck. But yeah, so you don't want to draw them. Yeah, but they're, they're good though, so. And then mm -hmm. that's it for the engine. I guess this is technically part of the engine. Uh, instant fusion and, red, and three copies of radio fusion. Uh, it just helps you facilitate more plays. And that's it for like the actual engine. And so the rest of, engine? Yeah. yeah. So I have to play three Ash. Uh, two Valor, two Div, two Ghost Ogre, and two Ghost Mortar. I feel like this is a nice, uh, or I guess three Imper. Uh, I guess the, I feel like this is a nice, uh, blend of hand traps that counter counter a lot of the format are the two twos like the two two line of... i feel like ash and imperm yeah. is the most important one so i play three of them yeah. and i just like having a nice spread have of those twos. ratios been good for you it's so, been all right nice. uh I'm, i haven't really got to play test it a lot i was playing three valor three nib and then uh cut uh one of each and uh, some other stuff to play two of these just to try them out so i'm also playing three cross out yeah. with all so you games. got a large variety for the yeah nice. yeah for the format and uh, ghoster is really i feel like ghoster is really good yeah. Yeah, it's really just like good U-Bell. Yeah. And then Ghost Warrior is just like out. another copy of like Valor and stuff. But I mean, if I had Impulse, I'd play it. That's like the best hand trap for this deck. Yeah. What's the uh, main deck count? Uh, 41. 41. Nice. And that's it for the main deck. Uh, next I play is uh, two Rare Fish. This is for the Instant Fusion Rare Fusion target. Yeah. 
uh, Bahamut Shark, you like yeah. this Broken is the best in your combo starter. So uh, and these are the, the cards you summon off of uh, Bahamut Shark Toad, the Omni Negate. This is the new one. This one searches the Icarus attack. And also you can detach material to add back one fish monster. So like if like your... Uh, where is he at? You, this is in your graveyard. You can attach material for one of your monsters and uh, add this back to your hand. And then you can keep on extending. But it searches the Icarus attack. It's the, the main thing, the Virtue Stream. And then uh, this one, this is the one that searches the, the equip and the trap. Uh, and you can, and then you go into this one. This one is kind of just a way to rank up. Uh, but it does have a nice cool Dark Ruler effect. Uh, that is, it comes up in a niche and then you play Batman. Uh, this is the like Batman, suck, the yeah, the Dark Knight Lancer. I call him Batman because he's the Dark Knight. Uh, you just like go here, go here, go into uh, so him. You get the attack boost for having. Yeah, two, he gets yeah. uh, 300 for each material, and then he gets suck one uh, when uh, a Equip card stuff, becomes a quip, yeah. which card, is yeah. which is really good because uh, of this one. This one lets you uh, banish it from graveyard to equip uh, X Y Z monster in your graveyard to any of your monsters, and then the, when one becomes a quip, you just suck one of their you be, one of the material. Uh, you suck a card, a monster they control becomes a material for this. So it also gives it more attack. So that's that's its graveyard effect. And then uh, this card, uh, this is like utility stuff, Abyss Dweller, Kraken. This makes everything water, and you can pop water quick effect. And Have you thought about doing like the uh, goes in with this? Yeah, it goes. Well, it's already turns everything in the water. Yeah, so, yeah. So it's we're just like for the lock. Of, yeah, it's okay, yeah. I suppose. Uh, this one's okay. It's kind of kind of like make a second attack and stuff. Yeah. And it, it's really good against Timpai because uh, it makes it so where you're probably can like do stuff in the battle phase and Dweller's just Dweller and then this thing and then Baguska. Uh, so this deck doesn't lock you in the water every time, but sometimes when you get hand trapped, you just make a Baguska depending on the matchup and be okay with it. And then uh, the F last two, yeah. and the last two is F, uh, F Zero because you can like. You make like this, and then I have this, and then like summon this on top, and then like you have this trap set, and then during your opponent's turn you can necklace like this, summon this, and then it's your, yeah. your, your, like a monster negate, whatever. Alright, and what's the side deck? And then we got size, kind of just like for, for meta game level. Like, well, yeah. I got three solid judgment for going oh, Okay, you got it goes in the side. Goes in, yeah, it goes in from the side. And then this is my sort of spicy tech. I, I, I wouldn't say it's too spicy. This card's just really broken. It's deck locked down. It's just, <laughs> it, it wins a lot of games. And it's, uh, it's just good, like, when uh, you get hand trapped. Like, oh, God, I'll just play this card. I'll play it. It gets yeah. an extra. And then for going, going for a second, uh, three cosmic, uh, some board breakers. And then, like, uh, two targets for cross out if I want to bring in, depending on the deck. So, like, if I think my opponent's going to be playing this card, this, deck, like, just, this card just, like, breaks or beats your deck because you're all XYZs. And then D Shifter is pretty good against the deck, too. Anyway, that's it for the deck. Gotcha, gotcha. All right, boss man. Well, I appreciate the deck for Paul. Is there anything you want to say before we close? Uh, I think this deck has a lot of cool interaction, which is really why I was drawn to it. It's not just like Omni Gay, Omni Gay, Omni Gay. It's yeah. just really niche and uh, interesting interaction that uh, uh, brings in a lot of like intelligence and thought for making yeah. uh, plays you can do. Yeah, and, uh, and, and it's pretty it, strong. So. Yeah, and you've been playing it for a while. Yeah, so. I like to play these like weird decks that, yeah. uh, uh, that kind of throws people off. Like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, boss man. Well, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And guys, as well, we're signing out. Peace. Yes,